In the last few years, because of various innovations in different instruments and different telescopes, the scientists have been able to detect a lot of different types of black holes across the galaxy, but also in various distant regions where black holes collide. But one of the more intriguing questions that the scientists are trying to answer when it comes to black holes is really simple. How many of them are there in the Milky Way galaxy? And is there any way for us to actually find out by trying to discover as many as we can in a relatively small amount of space? But unfortunately, that's not a question we can answer yet. But one of the potential ways we can try to estimate the number of black holes in the galaxy is by trying to discover as many close black holes to the solar system as we can. Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about the discovery and the identification of one of the closest black holes to the solar system. Maybe even the closest, although there is another contender for that title. With the new technique used in the study, potentially helping us discover a lot more of these objects in some of the future studies as well. But I guess first let's identify the problem. So we know that black holes are everywhere, but they are obviously very difficult to find. In the Milky Way galaxy, around 20 or so have been discovered so far, and really only because some of them become what's known as X-ray binary, where the black hole is just a little bit too close to the star and starts to absorb its mass, releasing a lot of energy in the process, which is usually visible from really far away. But the official estimate for a number of black holes out there in the Milky Way is approximately 100 million. 5 million times more than what we've actually found. So where's the rest? Well, the only explanation we have right now is that the rest are probably kind of like this. They're either completely alone and produce no energy whatsoever, or are possibly orbiting in another system, but much farther away than a typical X-ray binary. Which of course means that they barely produce any energy at all. But we can still try to find them using various techniques. For example, gravitational microlensing. If a black hole passes in front of a star, it's going to form a microlensing event, which actually has been detected in some of the distant galaxies, just not really in the Milky Way. But a slightly better way is to actually make an assumption based on our understanding of different types of orbits. We know that most stars out there are actually binary, and most orbit in such a way that they actually produce a kind of a blinking effect visible from far away. As a matter of fact, this observation can actually reveal quite a lot about the star system. And so in theory, at least some of these binaries are going to have a black hole and a star. And so if we look at them from a distance, we're going to see a star orbiting an invisible spot, and very likely a very massive spot as well. In general, it kind of is going to resemble this. The star is going to be moving around an imaginary spot that can then be detected using what's known as astrometry. And it just so happens that the scientists have a perfect telescope for that the Gaia telescope, the telescope that has been collecting a lot of astrometry data for the past several years. It actually has nearly a billion different objects in its database already, and it's always collecting even more stars and more various objects. And so in this case, the scientists behind the study used approximately 169,000 different binary stars from the third data release by Gaia to essentially see if they can actually discover something like this. And turns out their analysis revealed at least one definitive object, and not just any object, but actually a sun-like G-type star that seems to be about 1500 light years away from us, and seems to have an invisible companion producing the motion observed. The motion in this case looks kind of like this. And this is a telltale sign that the star is orbiting something that's relatively massive, because there's really no way to explain this particular parallax otherwise but it obviously could be some kind of other massive object. Maybe another really, really massive star that's just not too bright, or maybe like before, the distances themselves were actually incorrect. Well, in this case, the scientists used several different telescopes to confirm their findings, with the telescopes focusing on trying to detect any other emissions coming from this object. And pretty much nothing seems to be visible in this area. It seems to produce no visible radiation, suggesting that it is a dark, massive object, a black hole by definition, about 10 times as massive as our sun. And because this is the first such black hole discovered using Gaia telescope, it currently has the name Gaia BH1, black hole 1, with several additional techniques and observations such as Doppler spectroscopy, confirming that this particular star is being influenced by a relatively massive and a relatively small object that seems to produce no x-rays or no powerful radiation of any kind. Although I guess it's still kind of intriguing that out of nearly 170,000 objects they looked at, they only found one. And so that's maybe another mystery. Are these just extremely rare objects, 
or is it just very difficult to use astrometry to find them? And I guess if so, why? And on top of this, all of these findings still need to be confirmed, and the scientists are going to be doing this when Gaia Telescope releases its next data. We still have the fourth release, and also the fifth release, which is going to be the final one, which will most likely happen in the next few years. And so in this case, the scientists estimate that they should be able to find at least 10 more. But I guess it's still a little bit unclear why they've only discovered one. We know that binary systems are pretty common, and the black holes seem to be relatively common as well. There should be a hundred million of these objects in the Milky Way. And so if they've investigated 160,000 stars, I mean, technically you should expect more. And so maybe a new mystery to be solved in some of the future studies. But I guess the other question here is, is this the closest black hole to us? At 1500 light years away from us, it's actually beat by something else that was discovered approximately 10 years ago. The star known as the Pupis, a binary star system that seems to contain a third object that causes the stars to have very different orbital parameters, indicating a relatively massive object at a distance of about 900 light years away from us, or I guess about 960, although the distance to this object has not been clearly established yet. And so this one could be the closest black hole. And in this case, it's relatively similar. It's an invisible object that seems to cause stars to shift as they orbit around one another. But it's going to be a lot more exciting when the scientists find a way to discover something even closer, within about 100 light years. Because that type of discovery is going to be groundbreaking and will help us answer a lot of questions about the galaxy. But until these future discoveries, well, that's pretty much it. Check out the relevant links in the description below, subscribe, maybe share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences. Come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt that also has a black hole on one of the designs. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.